game has been running for uh, 40 seconds. Okay. So it's okay. Sorry about that. Uh, welcome back, Zero K fans. I apologize. I Turns out that humans require food for continued existence, so I had to deal with that. Anyway, we are on Rav... What the hell? We're on Ravaged. My other favorite map. Flipstick going for spiders. Leek going for air. No surprise. Sab and Yurga. Our previous champions, I think. Air and Cloaky Bots. Causing a forest fire. Hmm. Yep. That's always bow. Two air players, so it's um, air get air fight. I haven't seen it yet today. Well, on Ravage, that is no surprise. Just because of the fact that you can't easily get around the map without... Like, this is one ramp here. And that's the only way to get down from ground. Although spiders have the other ways. Every way. But, yeah, air is not uncommon here. At least for 2v2. For 1v1, it's a little bit less common. But anyway, Flipstip and Liko are pushing up pretty quickly. It looks like Jurgen Saab are setting up more defensively than anything else. Saab is pushing his commander a bit. Yurga expanding along the south side. Saab trying to expand to the center, but a lot of fleas to spot that out. Yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. It's nice to see how Flipstip used the fleas to um, yeah, he keep is, vision. Yeah, full vision of all this. Very nice. The Venoms took out a uh, single raider just now. Ooh. It's yeah, that's dangerous. How you can... Paralyzed for uh, Glaives. Yeah, Glaives do not counter Venoms by any means. Not no, no, anymore. No. <laughs> nope. Actually, even before it was just a pain in the butt. But yeah, definitely not now. No way now. And Saab trying to come in here. Ligo stopping his Avengers from doing much damage at all. And I'm not sure if... Well, I guess that means that Ligo really has air control. Yeah, Saab even pointing out. Crap. Oh, sorry guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Uh, well, they started without me, so I had because I had to eat, and they kind of messed me up. So anyway, as I was saying, Flipstep going for spiders, Lico Lico going for air, Sab going for air, Yurga going for cloakies, and that's all's relevant right now. We did have a couple of venoms destroy some glaives over here in the northwest. Or sorry, the North Center. Redback's coming in as well to help out. As Liko sends some of his Venoms around to the south side and... Sorry, Flipstep sends them around. And other than that, nothing really has happened. Oh yeah, and Liko took air control from Saab. Sorry about that. Especially if you're watching on YouTube, you're going to wonder <coughs> exactly what I'm talking about in the background during the that part of the video. Here's yeah. the Redback, new unit. Oh yeah, it's probably I see over. two Venoms with that. Well, and I see we've bombers. seen Redback before, but yeah, they're... Mm. They're a thing. Buster level zero. Wee, 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 wee. This is dangerous for that commander. Yeah, Yurga's commander is not in a great spot right now. Sob's commander's okay. Sob's commander's oh, he fine, can, but... He, now he'll drop that bomber. Oh, nice! No wait, that's Saw's bomber. That's not good for him. Saw's bomber going nice down. Nice use of spiders. I like really, really like this combination with air works. Yeah, well, yeah, spiders work very well on Ravage just due to the way the terrain is laid out. I found it's a good map for any matchup, but spiders do work out surprisingly well, just given the fact that they don't usually work out especially well on other maps. They've gotten better, but historically they've not been particularly. Well liked. I've always liked. One them. venom seems to have seems to have died, but I, I must have missed it. It got blown up, I think, by the solar clutter exploding. Yeah, probably. That has a tendency to happen. Flip and Lico kind of really are running away with the economy now. They really are. Wow, Sav and Yurga have not been building up anywhere near as strongly. And I mean, Lico's able to bomb out a Lotus. That's going to be pretty big. Excuse me. And Saab and Yurga... I see... Uh, Saab's really trying to get trader. air control back. If you can get that commander of uh, Saab there. Oh, he's... Well, he's not really going for it yet. Saab does have a lot of adventures mm, trying to defend that, but... He has uh, he something to eat uh, defender missiles, and he has his commander close. 
I think he can kill his commander if uh, he stuns it. Possibly. Flips it does have light range light particle beam. And he is going with Hermit and Recluse. Oh, that there's Recluse is going to be a problem. His commander is going to die. Yep, yep that Goodbye. Infiltrator seals the deal. Oh, that's nice. I really liked how they played this out. This is uh, use of all the special units in Zero K. Spiders and the Redbacks and Bombers. Well, Redbacks are fairly common nowadays, but Spiders, you pretty much have to use them. Redback Venom combo is it's as powerful as you see here. Really difficult mm -hmm. to get through. You need a lot of skirmishers to deal with it. Granted, that being said, Roccos are a pain in the butt to deal with the spiders. I think still with turret spam you can stop it. But whatever. Yeah, with proper preparations. Um, and actually with an air player nearby, Rocco's going to be a lot less powerful. <laughs> now, that being said, I don't see Saab. Saab isn't really building up much can, to deal with this. They can hold on okay. to this position for a while and let their uh, advantage grow a bit further before they make any new attempts on uh, the center or the left side of the map. Yeah, well, they have everything northeast, and they are not... They're not going to let that go easily. The jump commander could try uh, an attack on the left, uh, but he has to be aware of those bombers. Yeah, and also, Saab does have Avengers oh. around the map. Saab actually has... Has spotted Something. out Flipsip's commander. Oh, I really like how Liko is playing. <laughs> I'm enjoying his game. Yeah, he is doing it. Oh, and okay, Liko and Saab now meeting up. Their Avengers. Saab running away, taking a couple of Avengers down, and then getting out of there. A few more. Well, one Raven has been built. I no more ha are up. Not for Saab anyway. And Liko moving his Avengers out of the way as well. That. I like seeing good use of that move, though. The D-Gun boost. Yeah. That's eh, really good to see. It looks like Recluses are going to be the order of the... No, Redbacks, sorry. More Redbacks are coming up for Flipsit. Flip again is trying to get to level 3 with his commander. Well, it worked out before. <sighs> yeah, it did, and on this map it's even stronger. I mean, CCR actually almost more just didn't work because it was too big. The commanders actually couldn't get anywhere with the units. Yeah, it's kind of irrelevant on 100 income. Yeah, that's also true. But still, Yurga is well, reclaiming pretty well, getting getting back to Zeus's, but at the same time, more vamps and Avengers Ooh. coming to stop, stop Sub. Sub got rid of one of the... Oh, whoa, what is... No, that's just, that's just a glaive. Never mind, nothing meaningful. I see again, uh, Kowalner in a dangerous position. Flipsips? No, Flipsips is fine. Yurga no, is... Stunned. Oh, Yurga! Oh, yeah, another Infiltrator comes in. But looks like the Zeuses are going to defend it pretty well. <laughs> now he's going to bomb it. 20 seconds left. Oh, he's going to try. It's not going to work, though. Not going to kill it. It's going to hurt. going to put it on fire. <laughs> oh, another... Actually, that last shadow might just... No, not no, even. it wasn't reloaded. But no, it was not. But Ligo's commander is going to finish off Yurga's... That... Ow. He might Down lose his own now. No, he's nowhere near losing his own. He's got 2,500 oh, health. Oh, the glaze all disappeared. <laughs> Level 3, it gets... Now with the red back closed, the glaze uh, can be fended that. off. Yeah, this game... Left is has really been taken out by place. Hermits. Oh, that's, that's a good move. Just sent free. Uh, he recognized how many turrets there were. He yeah. knew he could take it out with just 2 or 3. It, it looks good. like Liko is coming in. Trying to push back. It looks like Yurga is going to be trying to get... Are you trying to get any bombers? Okay, Saab has switched over to Cloakies. Getting a lot of Rockos to deal with the spiders. Getting some Shadow or Ravens as well. Revealing them, however, kind of early. And at this point, Air Control is still... Oh, actually, no. Liko's run out of Avengers. All those Jethros hmm. took care of the Avengers. Or Gremlins now. Took care of the Avengers. So now... Now these Shadows have a chance. However, it's going to take a while to reload. That's the only problem. They need to all reload. No. And then Resurrecting go and try to kill spiders. Again. Cool. This is a red back back. <laughs> oh yes, of course, Lazarus device for Liko. The red back and back. Glaze, the red and back a Raven, back. getting a Raven of his own now. Although the, the Jethros are in the way, or the Gremlins. And actually, Flipstiff's commander not taking any damage. These Ravens are not targeting it. They are going... What are they going for? I think he's trying to figure out what to target. Because he could get rid of Flipstiff's commander, because that would be... That would be a pretty big blow. 
Although I think Leekos Commander is a better option overall. Neither of them being targeted, however. And Leekos Commander now at level 3. Oh, I was been level 3. I thought I was morphing for a second. But no, it's... Oh, there goes oh, Geo. Oh, yeah, that's the target. Not a bad target either. Does get rid of most of that base, or a fair amount of that base. The uh, Flintstone has so much energy economy, it barely makes a dent. I don't even know what point that was. Uh, yeah, of building it in the first place. Yeah. I don't know, but... Still, Yurga and Saab are not letting any more ground get taken as best they can. Lego is now upgrading to level 4. And... <laughs> I, I really, um, trying to find a target to fight. Not sure what it's going to do there. Flips it's not sure what it's going to do. Painting the uh, entire map with uh, defenders. Sure is. Although at this point, I think that that's pretty wise. If he loses his commander, that's a lot of his power that's gone down. Like a lot yeah, of his army's invested basically there. Basically everything he has at the, mo at the moment. Yeah, he's got his, a crab and his commander and a redback infiltrator. I mean, if he has one good high-value target to kill, he's fine. But he doesn't really. All the high-value targets have died. And actually, these guys are going to go down, too. And the Infiltrator getting revealed as a result of that. And the Zeus is taking it out. So at this point, Flipstep literally has a crab in construction and a commander. That is it. That is the entirety of his army at the moment. Oh. No, that's a Weaver. Nope, that's it. <laughs> and a lot of wind gens. And a Newton for some reason, out in the corner. Yeah, it's poor control with the aircraft. He's losing them all the time, for free. Yeah, Liko has not... He, after losing air control, really has not had any chance... I mean, he could regain it if he wants to. Just needs to avoid the Jethro's, that's the only thing. He could get rid of all of those Ravens, but... At this point, his commander is... Very likely to get... Just completely nailed. So it's gonna take <laughs> a lot. The, the 4,500, no. that's going to be about... Well, actually, six bombers would do it. And five bombers on... Four bombers on the way. Not quite enough. Would need two Ooh. more. He's going to go for it, though. Gets yeah, actually I... quite a lot in. But yeah, two more bombers need to get in there, and that will do the trick. Diving under the shields is very nice to see, but yeah. Zeus's unfortunately, do not dive under the shields. They are, however, actually about to stun out the commander. One more shot will stun it out, but it's not enough. Lego saves himself. Sniper... Sniper weapon. By Saab here. Oh yeah, there is a sniper by Saab. However, it can't fire through that big shield. That's the only problem. I think it, it like... does. Does it? I don't know. It's not even firing yet, though. No, yeah, it doesn't. It, just... it hits the shield. That's what I thought. However, Liko's commander is about to go down regardless. Doesn't have shield power, and down it goes. So that is a commander. That has gone down for Liko. Uh all your uh, eggs in one basket is what they call this. Yeah. Actually, he even was pushing a fusion on top of that. I mean, Now it's uh, Flipstip's turn to go. Yep, he's just about to lose the commander in one... R oh, not quite. Jumping away from it, trying to light particle beam away these chat, these ravens. Gets rid of one of them, too, before it fires. Actually. Keeps himself alive pretty well. That was not a bad defense. Mm -hmm. I must say. That being uh, said, I don't like this way, the, the way it, this plays out with these commanders. Yeah, it's it's really hit or miss. It either wins them the game or it does nothing. I mean, at this point, missile silo coming up for Liko. I what? Okay, Spider Factor is a bit more sensible. Missile silo, I guess, because of the economy, but there isn't really a massive amount of units or or defenses to deal with. So I don't know what the motivation is there. That's just weird. Mm. Anyway, Flipstep and the Northwest. Oh, okay. The crab has been cancelled. Going for Hermits instead. Better plan. So Flipstep getting the army on the ground. And the crab actually... Oh, no, the crab is alive. What am I saying? Is there almost being destroyed, though. Another shadow repaired, about to go down, slowly. but... What? Why did it's a construction aircraft? <laughs> well, there is a construction aircraft, but I think that... Oh, never mind. It just, it just passed the threshold. One shadow will not kill it. And actually, for that matter, there's only two shadows in play, one of them under construction. And Flipstep's commander has fully healed up. That sucks. <laughs> fleas against uh, Mortys. That's nice. And the fleas are winning, too. Wait, which ones are Mortys? Ah, the Morty hit a flea. <laughs> That's worth a medal. 
You mean the Rockos? No, the Morty or whatever they're called. Hammer. Oh. Okay. Sorry. What are you talking about? There's no... Ah. Yeah, uh, I'm still uh, with my head in 1997. Yes, please. It's... It's been 17 years. <laughs> Track <laughs> anyway, Hermit is... Hermits are not doing too well, though. And I don't actually see any hammers on the field, so I don't know what you're talking about. Bottom right corner. Oh, yeah, never mind. Oops. However, it would appear that... Well, Leco lost a Geo plan as well. Flipsip actually is running out of energy. He's at 35 energy right now. 63 energy for Leco, but 35 energy for Flipstep. He lost a lot of power over in the northeast. Looks like a bunch, a bunch of glaives came, or a bunch of rockers came along and raided that out. <laughs> and the glaive's still around. Saab trying to bomb it out, but not really able to do so effectively. That's unfortunate for him. Does get rid of radar. Or no. Oh, that's a nice napalm hit. Oh. Wait, where did that come up? The um, napalm rockets. Napalm rockets? Wait, what? That's, that's the missile silo. Oh right, yeah, of course. What am I thinking? The infernos, because it actually is does have some use. But yeah, I was just thinking, still not a whole lot of units in play. It not badly positioned. Okay, that was a good one, choking out everything that Sabinier can throw right now in this particular one here. That is a big deal. Sorry about that. I don't know what I was thinking. I was expecting it to be a firewalker because that's the same explosion. Yeah, kinda. Anyway, Flipstep is going to get rid of all these units raiding himself out. There is a sharpshooter that's going to be useful. Is it going to fire? It should fire pretty soon. Okay, that's... I can take it. Mm. Well, Flipstep's going to just run away. It's, it's getting sloppy, the game. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Well... Missile Silo is no longer producing, so Liga right now appears to be focusing entirely on regaining air control. Yeah, he threw about 3,000 metal into rockets. He didn't get anything close to that amount of metal in deaths or in kills. Yeah, although he is reclaiming Liga's commander. Flips is reclaiming Liga's commander. Actually, Flips is commander taking a decent amount of damage while Yurga's Jethro's are taking care of a lot of the air force that is being thrown out, but flees to take care of those. Well, Gremlins, rather, not Jethro's. Please take care of the Gremlins, and more Gremlins coming up to continue dealing with things. And at this point, those hammers are going to go down. Venoms and Hermes getting rid of the hammers. So yep, they finally managed to get a new Maxis uh, in the bottom right. Back up. Well, for now, but that's going to go down very soon. No, it's going to... Exactly. And Flea's coming to the center... Not gonna do too much. Flaves are too powerful. Do not Flip's allow anything not to happen. Flip's not making anything. It's just accessing. Yeah. What is? Yeah. Flipstep has enough economy here. You just go. He was. Oh no. Flipstep's over in the north. Yeah. Flipstep hasn't. Well, okay. He's building another red back. Another few red backs. But he has too much money. Needs to possibly switch factories. Even. I don't know. Yeah. It would be nice. Actually. Has moved his crab forward though. It's on fire, but to no avail. I think that was Liko's, actually. That was Liko's <laughs> doing. And Liko's just switching camp to Cloakie as well. He's camping with fighters on uh, Saab's aircraft. Mm hmm. Not doing much, though. We lost a vamp for that, and I think at this point it's... Yeah, it's over. I... <laughs> Couple of funny oh, things here. And, okay, apparently the dev channel people are... Thinking of renaming units based on funny things that I would say. <laughs> I'm just glad to know that I have that much influence, but at the same time, seriously, guys, come on. And resign for Saab and Yurga. That's 1 0 for Flipstep and Liko. Going on to game two. But yeah, that was. Well, I guess that sort of. I don't know, it feels like it worked in spite of the commander morph. Maybe I'm just being biased, but it just feels like. That would have worked faster without it. Anyway, going to be moving on to game two. So stay tuned, everyone.
I would be um, surprised if Flip and Liko could uh, take out Sabir and Jurga. <laughs> it would be awesome. That would be interesting, that's for sure. Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shed Fury 33 with Floris the 14th with game two of Sab Yoga versus Flipstep and Liko. It's going to be on Red Comet once they determine what they're going to do. And then after that, we have, well, semifinals after that. So whoever wins this is going to be going off in the semifinals. Actually, no. So whoever wins this, who is going to fight? Yeah, they're going to go to the semifinals fighting whoever wins between Anarchy Klon and Skazi Yogtatoth. And the game is just setting up. It looks like they are going... Oh, okay, Flips and Liko are planning to go delayed Black Dawn from the looks of it. If we switch to the game... Switch to the game. We will see that they're doing exactly that. <coughs> so... Sabir does his... Uh... <coughs> what he always does is four scorches. And then we'll try yep. to snipe a commander. He'll probably uh, succeed. Oh, uh, yeah. Commander. Uh, Scorcher dive on a commander on Recon Com. That would definitely work. You know, game is starting. I'll uh, and... be right back. Okay. So, Yoga going for Heavy Tank Factory. He's going to the south. Saab starting in the center going for Light Vehicles. We saw he was going to go for four Scorchers. Flipstep going for Light Vehicle as well. Now it's not the time. How y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> One sec. I apologize. Sorry about that. Anyway, back to the game. So Liko has not yet built the factory. He was planning on going for delayed gunship. Four Scorchers are coming in for Saab. And Yorga getting a quick weaver. Getting a quick welder. He has not gone. Oh, he got, has gone for Kodachi. Kodachi's along the south. Scorcher's coming down. And Flipstep is aware of. No, sorry. Flipstep looks like he's planning on going for the rush. He does have radar, however, so he is aware of the Scorchers coming in. He thinks it's five Scorchers. One of those is, in fact, a Kodachi. And that might screw the Blackdown Rush. They're a bit... Well, according to the chat, they're quite concerned. But that Scorcher Rush... One of the Scorchers goes down for free, actually. But Saab is now well aware of what Liko is up to at the gunship plant. He sees the gunship plant. He sees the Black Dawn. Saab is completely aware of what Liko has planned. Getting rid of a Metal Extractor, too, just to slow things down. 35 seconds for the Black Dawn to come up. And one of the Scorchers is actually, well, getting out of there. Both the Scorchers get out of there. Two of the Scorchers died. Two of the Scorchers lived. And the Kodachi coming along the south. Just continuing that harassment very nicely. Should be able to get rid of that Scorcher. Just gets rid of it in time. Actually, that Kodachi is very heavily damaged. More Scorchers coming in, however. Going to try to get rid of this gunship plant. 20 seconds left. That la lack of a Metal Extractor there. Losing that Metal Extractor really hurt. But Flipstep coming with his own commander to protect things. And that will... Leave that Black Dawn safe. However, now that they're fully aware of this, I think that Crasher... Yeah, Crasher's coming up. Saab and Yurga are going to be prepped for this. Panther's coming up for Yurga just to stun it out. Well, stun anything out, really. Stunning out this Scorcher as well, getting rid of it. And Saab and Yurga are in a great spot right now economically. They have easily a double economic advantage compared to Flipsman and Liko. But Flipsman and Liko are up one game. That is worth noting. They did win game one. This is game two. So they are going to be able to get away with this if they lose not a big deal it's really not the biggest deal if they die not in this game at least but that does mean it's 1-1 one, one, and then that gives Saab and Yurga a better chance of getting back in however this Black Dawn has no way in the Crasher is just tearing it apart Flips are trying to get in with some Scorchers as well but that's not going to help Scorchers however are going to be able to get rid of this Crasher and that Crasher no just barely escapes Scorch support comes up and Chases away flips of Scorchers, though. Chases them into the territory. One of them does go down. The other one takes out a Scorcher before it itself goes... Actually, no. It itself is not going to go down. Two Scorchers for the price of one. Not bad for Flipstep. Panthers are ever coming in here through the center. And they're going to be a problem for Flipstep to deal with. 
Right now, getting rid of the radar. Gonna be able to get rid of the leveler, no problem. Actually, some problem from the looks of it. The Panthers do survive, though. Get rid of the leveler. and No, leveler will kill that one Panther right at the end. The other Panther, far enough away to avoid the EMP blast on death. And second Black Dawn. Oh, same Black Dawn. Black Dawn did, did escape. Did get built up again. Finishes off that particular Panther. Crasher, however, is in place to deal with it. The Crasher not getting hit. Too mobile for the Black Dawn to deal with. The Black Dawn has to retreat once again. I am very surprised that Liko has not gone around the back with the Black Dawns. Just dealt with this over here. But he has not. He has instead opted to go in the front line. Not sure why. And this Panther is going to... Actually, does it have the range? I think the Panther might have the range to actually deal with that. From the looks of it. Well, it's hard to tell. But probably not. Anyway, Scorcher is going to be not a threat. Yorgon Saab are taking map control very handily. I think this game is quickly going to go in their favor. Flips and Liko have a bit of a chance. Liko at level 1 commander. Flipstep at level 1 commander. Same as before. They haven't morphed yet, but they tend to. Given how they have been morphing so far, I would be surprised if they didn't just keep that up. Anyway, Scorcher is going to be able to... Nope, it's going to go down to the Panther. This is really nice Panther usage by your guy. He really knows what he's doing here. And welcome back, Floris. Floris has returned. Yeah. So yeah, I'm right now, that Black Town Rush totally failed. Saab and Yurga saw yeah, it coming, I and figured. then they just had Crashers. They had everything. It's it's done. There's nothing that can be done at this point. Flipstam and Lego have some chance if they... If they're able to break through the Panthers, they have no problem. But at this point, going for Heavy Leveler. Going for a Dominatrix as well, Flipstip is. Lico is trying to get more Cranes. Just trying to build up. Possibly trying to push into Heavy Brawler. Not sure, though. He has no real plan right now other than cranes in his factory. Yeah, they cannot get out of this. <coughs> I don't see a way. Neither do I. The only um, way maybe is that the Black Dawn does do some periphery harassment. Just all these metal extractors are undefended. Just knock out their economy. And then maybe knock out back and take out some of their production. That <coughs> might work. Maybe. If I take away all metal extractors of uh, Jurgis team, they'd still win. No, but what about production? Take away the factories. Yeah, still the Panthers, that's true. <coughs> okay, fair enough. The Panthers would still be a problem. Actually, as with the Scorchers, more Scorcher harassment coming into the north. Getting rid of that crane and getting rid of more... Well, sheesh, that is quite the powerful attack there. Though, yeah. Flips are responding in kind, or trying to, but taking a Lotus Blast with a fit or Not quite face. However, that Scorcher does not have a chance at all. Other one in the north, however, that... Okay, now now he's trying to get rid of the Scorchers. <coughs> metal Extractors in the north. Scorch trying to do what it can. And it does a pretty good job. Flipstep able to get through here and start harassing. So we'll see if you're right about the Metal Extractors. Because it <laughs> appears that they are about to be destroyed. We'll test your theory. However, that being said, Saab is coming into the north with a Kodachi as well to help deal with Liko's remaining Metal Extractors. And... Flipstep not focusing on this Scorcher. Looks like he is focused more on his commander. Pushing that forward and trying to just set up. It's consolidating a losing position, but it's all he's got, I guess. And these Scorchers coming in, trying to do everything they can. Black Dawn going to try to finish them off, but I think Liko might end up destroying his own factory if he goes for defense against that. Doesn't matter, though. The gunship plant is going to die. Oh, not quite. There we go. There it goes. It's down. And the Black Dawn actually taking a fair amount of damage from the Scorcher. Wow. Getting out of there. Not sure what it's going to do, though. It's getting repaired, and that's all I can really do at this <coughs> point. Not much more to say. Saab and Yurga have taken this game. We're on to a 1 1 situation. Flipstam and Liko trying to do what they can, but they Liko's lost his production. Has one Black Dawn. That Black Dawn can't harass well enough. The entire map is belonging to Saab and Yurga. He has a Dominatrix, he can still win. Oh, that's true, he has a Dominatrix. Domion Defender. <clears throat> that's not going to work out too well. Actually, that's not going to work well, well at all. The Panther's going to get the Dominatrix before the reload time is done, and down it goes. Did not work out at all. That, that's it.
That, that's game. That dominatrix. Am, I don't, there's another one being rebuilt. <laughs> May work? I don't know. There's just so much. Stop and Yurga. I'm surprised they haven't gone for striders at this point for how far away they how far away in the head they are. Ravens coming up just in case. Saab getting a couple of those. Yeah, Flipship and Liko gonna throw in the towel. We're gonna move on to game two pretty soon, guys. They have agreed. Resign. So they Everything get to blows up. pick the last map. <clears throat> what? Yes, they do. That's they right. Get to... So what do you think they're gonna pick? Oh, Liko wants to keep playing. What? I don't know, he agreed that the game was over. Oh, let's not resign. Oh yeah, right, okay, wow. So they're just trying to drag it out. Guys, we have <coughs> other... No, we have clock here. The game's to cast. And that Black Dawn... Okay, now the Black Dawn is going to die. No doubt about it, that Black Dawn's gonna die. But Dominatrix is gonna be able to get rid of one of these vamps. No, here we go. Ah, is that Black Dawn ever going to die? Okay. That Crasher is... There we go, the Black Gun dies on the ground. So that, and the Vamp goes down as well. <laughs> thanks to his ally Vamp, or former ally Vamp. Wow, okay, well, that didn't last long. But, these aren't... Oh, gonna go for a comp snipe. Flipstiff's commander dodges the shots. Shadows have to go for another pass. Very dangerously close to the ground, but <coughs> still will be able to... No! They missed the second pass! What the heck are these shadows doing? <laughs> it's going home now. They've missed two passes. They're just not going to bother. Because the Panthers are going to come in to finish this off. The one of the Panthers does turn on its allies, ending up stunning one by its own death. And another one gets stunned out by death. Wow. Actually, these... Okay, the Lotuses are making a problem there. And Flipsip going to try to morph his commander once again. Liko... Has, he lost his commander a while ago, so... Blipsip's the only one with a commander on that team. And another Dominatrix is up. These Scorch are trying to do what they can. Scorch is really the best counter, honestly, because that... Too, the numbers are too high. Yeah. And Saab coming in with another set of... Well, this is it. This is it. Flipsip's commander is about to go down to all these Scorchers. That It's going to try... It's trying its best, but that's that's it. That's game. Flipstep loses his commander. I don't think they have any... They have no chance now. They have no economy. Flipstep wants to resign. Liko... There we go. Liko agrees, and that is game. They are at one and one. We are moving on to game three. Hey, sheesh. That was longer than it had to be. And... Yogstoth and Scuzzy move on to the semifinals. Just on a side note, Anakin and Clone ended up losing 2-0. Oh, boy. <clears throat> wow. Oh, boy. Huh, okay. Didn't expect that one. No, that's definitely a bit of a surprise. However, that being said, they are fighting against whoever wins these matches. And we know, we've seen that these two groups, these two teams we are f watching now, are awesome teams. They know what they're doing. And... It's going to be a tough match for Game 3. <clears throat> Definitely. Anyway, so we'll be back with that shortly, guys. Stay tuned. Oh, come on. I don't have a good shot. No, what the There we go. Welcome back, 0K fans. We're going to have... Game three of Saab and Yurga versus Liko and Flipstip, apparently on Cooper Hill. I don't know when they start. Yes, they are. They are apparently on Cooper Hill. Yep. Oh, apparently Skazi and Yogsatoth are actually using Mumble to communicate with each other. Ah, Which nice. everybody should be doing, because that's just how you play team games. <clears throat> Except when you're deaf. Oh, well, yes, obviously that would be a problem. I suppose at that point you need to do a speech-to-text thing, but... Yeah. Unless you're deaf, but I assume you aren't. 
I've been talking to you long enough that I'm guessing that you are, in fact, capable of hearing me. Yeah, it would be very coincidental if I guessed every word you've said right. You can't read my lips or anything. No, but I can make an assumption about what you might say, and then I respond to that. And I could be right. Well, you've been right so far. Yeah, it's a very slim chance. <laughs> anyway. So... It looks like they are... I'm not sure what they're going to do. It looks like Flipsim and Liko are planning on going Spiders and Cloaky. Judging by the chat, they are... Yeah, Spiders, Cloaky, Yurga's going Shields. Saab, not sure what he's planning on doing. Saab's going for Rocco Spam. This is going to be odd. Hey, well, game is starting. So, Let the rush commence. Yeah. Well, Sob and Yurga going for shields and cloaky. Liko and Flipsip going for double cloaky. That's a lot of cloaky. Oops. Misclick by Flipsip. Yeah, it must have been. I meant to go for spiders, but apparently not. So Glaze and Rock is from Flipsip and Liko, while we have... Whoa, nice. Early Scythe coming in. That hasn't come up in a little while. So yeah, Early Scythe coming up for Sob. And Yurga is just going for convicts, going for reclaim. Going to be getting some bandits as well. And neither... Okay, Flipstep and Liko are reclaiming with their commanders, but neither of them are building... Okay, Liko's building a Rector. Saab is not building anything. He's building just Recto... Re Rockos. Uh, constructors early on in this map can give you enormous economy boost. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I mean. I'm so surprised they haven't gone for it, because there's just all this metal and energy everywhere around the map. So much reclaim. And no one's taking it. It's a tasty reclaim. Anyway, Bandit's gonna be able to scare off Lico's clays for a little while. Not sure about the Rockos. Those guys are a bit harder to scare off. They're already but... anticipating Commander, so they build a Sniper. Nice. They actually had a Scythe, too. I'm not sure where that is, though. Oh, it's around the back. Scythe is about to start attacking. Or at least it's scouting. Hasn't attacked anything yet. Gonna go for a Metal Extractor. And not the biggest deal on this map, honestly. Now, Constructors, that would be the biggest deal. And it looks like... Flip... Well, no. Saab is looking for where the Constructors are. And dodging those Glaives. Nice. Nice avoidance. They should really side. be pushing with the Commanders now. Well, Forget the, the turret. The Either map. more of a built a turret, not both. Heavy Machine Gun Battle Con for Liko. And Flipstep's going with the same commander he had before. They are pushing very heavily, but... Yeah, you're right, that... That turret's not the best thing to do. Flipstep about to lose his commander! No! Flipstep! Is he gonna lose his commander? No, not quite! Flipstep's commander is at 110. Scythe coming around the back, though, has not yet found the worker. Well, found a metal extractor, but it's gonna take some damage in the process. However, Flipstep's commander has to retreat. Legos commander moving forward, getting hit by a sniper shot. One more sniper shot will bring it not quite to death, but close. A move that's. That, that and the Scythe did not. It got rid all of All those uh, glaives in the base need to attack now. And. Yes, but the Felon also, that's a bit of a problem. There's, there is a Glaive in the back dealing with the Convict, or trying to. But this Felon is going to be a problem here. Flipstep's commander has not repaired. Trying to tear... Oh, he's building up a bunch of defenders. <coughs> the heck? No, he's building a bunch of defender... Nano frames. Yeah, to get rid of a... Um, sniper, yeah. Stop a sniper from hitting him. Yeah. Although the Felon is going to be a bigger threat right now. At this point... Liko's commander getting healed up very nicely. Gonna take the brunt of the damage, but looks like the thugs and felons gonna get rid of the defenders before the sniper, the sharpshooter gets into range. We'll see though. Yes, it will. The sharpshooter will have a clear shot on Flipstep's commander, but Flipstep's commander jumping out of the way just in time to stop that from happening. So ultimately, does not cause a problem. And Liko losing his commander. Oh, just about. Not quite. There it goes. Zeus takes out Liko's commander. Yeah, Flips too bad. about to lose his commander to a oh, sharpshooter. That's a bad game. That, that is game. The commander's going to blow up in the base, destroying... Well, not destroying, but <sighs> hampering the, the production of the factory somewhat. And it's poor execution of such a rush. Uh, yeah. Too much idling with commanders. Some glaives coming around the back to try to salvage us a bit, but this is it. The felon is, just, the felon is born down on it. Getting rid of one of the Clickybot factories... The other one's about to go down too, and these glaives over here not even able to get past the lasers. 
So that's that's game. That Klokoba factory gone down. And Liko and Flipstep are out. Saab and Yurga end up taking this and go on to the semifinals. <clears throat> Not quite the upset we were thinking would happen, but... Well... That would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Anyway, good job Liko and Flipstep getting that far, and good job Saab and Yurga moving on to the semifinals. So we shall have semifinals match, probably Golda and Forever versus Drone and El Torero. That's the first semifinals match that's coming up. So once that is done, then we move on to Saab Yurga versus Skazi Yogsatoth. So stay tuned for that. At least I think that Golda and Forever have not started their game yet. Have Golda? I think they wanted to hold it up for until uh, oh, kind of we so. were done here. Wonderful. Okay, so we shall have that in just a couple minutes. Stay tuned.